hello guys good morning welcome back to my channel today i'm new filming a new what i eat in a day you guys know i love to make these kinds of videos for you i love food i love to eat and discover new recipes and as always keeping things simple healthy nutritious and easy to make that is like my thing and i love my little routines you guys probably know i always start my day with warm water with lemon this is like my version of a morning coffee <laughs> it's the drink of choice that I wake up craving and it makes me so happy in the morning It really hydrates my body after being asleep for so many hours and I love the vitamin C from the lemon as well Gets my digestive system going and yeah, I just love it as part of my morning routine So I'm still very much into my smoothies in the morning It's very quick and easy to make and it's so nourishing with all of these ingredients I guess I kind of go through phases with my breakfast, but as of the last few months, it's been smoothies, sometimes it's oats, sometimes it's eggs with toast. It just depends, but lately I just crave smoothies in the morning. So I've got some fresh baby spinach here. Of course, a really great source of greens and minerals and vitamins. I've got some cucumber. I love how refreshing this is in a smoothie, along with some ginger as well. This is something I've been loving for my digestion, just adding a little piece of ginger to the smoothies. One frozen banana. I've got some frozen wild blueberries here, which I'm obsessed with. A great source of antioxidants, vitamin C, and I just love the flavor that they give the smoothies. And then for a good source of fat, I've got some avocado, so nourishing, really great for the skin. It's a great source of fiber, and also just especially when you're pregnant, I feel like healthy fats are so important. Here I've got some cinnamon, some vanilla, chia seeds. I do about one to two tablespoons of these in the smoothie. And then some protein powder. This is my favorite. It's from Sun Warrior. I like it because the ingredients are very simple. It is an unflavored one, but then I do add the vanilla to it. So it's kind of like a vanilla protein powder, but sometimes I'll do collagen. This is the one that I usually use from Vital Protein. So I'll have both of these linked down below for you guys if you want to check them out. I like the smoothie a lot as well as it's really well balanced with the greens, the fiber, the protein, the fat. It just feels really satiating and filling on all levels and it's just really nutrient dense and it tastes amazing as well. I do also love having this after we've been away on a trip, traveling, which I feel like we've been doing quite a bit lately. So it's just really nice to come home to my healthy routines like this. I really look forward to my morning smoothie and this makes about two big glasses by the way, which I both have. This is morning happiness right here. <laughs> It's so, so good. And as I'm having my smoothie, that's usually when I take my daily supplements. So I've got my prenatal, my DHA, zinc, iron, and a B12. Another supplement that I love, which I actually take a little bit earlier in the day before I eat anything, is a probiotic. It's actually a probiotic and a prebiotic. And this has so many benefits, not just for your digestive health, but also for your skin health, for your mood, for just the overall support of your body, because your gut health is so closely linked to the health of your entire body. And there are so many probiotics on the market, but the one that I love and trust the most, and the one that I've been taking for over a year now is from Seed. The reason I love and trust this so much is that it's been designed to fight through your stomach acids and bile salts and enzymes that are all designed to break down our food, but they also kill all of the good bacteria on the way down to your gut. But the bacteria in these capsules are actually protected by an outer shell, so they are guaranteed to make it down to where they need to go. And that's why I think people have so much success with this probiotic so many of you have written me that you've taken this and that it's completely transformed your digestive health a lot of you say it's helped a lot with your bloating and with skin health as well with acne and the specific strains of bacteria are really important to look into as well when you're getting a probiotic so this has a 24 strain broad spectrum probiotic and prebiotic and it is also a prebiotic so the prebiotic is the food that those good bacteria eat so you are really nourishing your gut 
but on all levels I swear by this I take two of these in the morning I started out by taking one and recently I upped my dose to two since I got pregnant it's really good not just for me but also for the health of the baby and for the baby's digestive system as well it's just crazy that the health of the baby's digestive system is already forming right now when she's still in my body so it's a really simple and easy way to support your digestive health and if you guys have not tried this out yet I would highly highly recommend it you can use my code AnnieJ15 and the link down below for 15% off your first order I will have all of the information below in the description box if you guys want to check this out okay it's a little bit later I am going to be roasting some sweet potato now I'm gonna add this to my salad for lunch so I just peeled and sliced up one large sweet potato and I tossed it in a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna add this to my salad it's gonna be really delicious Okay, so as the sweet potato is roasting, I'm gonna throw together the rest of the salad. These are my ingredients. I think a really great way to switch up your salads is to add in some herbs. Some of my favorites are parsley and also basil and cilantro, which I have today. Even just a little bit of this in your salad just elevates it and makes it taste so like restaurant-like. <laughs> it adds so much flavor and they're actually so good for you. I'm also gonna use some cherry tomatoes. Here I've got some arugula. These are some steamed green beans that I had last night, so I'm going to throw some of those in there. This is some organic feta. It's a mix of sheep and goat's milk. Some hard-boiled eggs here for some protein. Throw all of that together with the sweet potato and it's going to be so delicious. Sprinkling some sunflower seeds on top. I'm just gonna dress it with some olive oil and balsamic vinegar. And that's it. So here is my salad, super delicious and really easy to throw together with whatever you have in the fridge. I just love to make sure that I have like a healthy fat, a good protein, some greens, and sometimes just olive oil with some balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper is all you need for a good dressing that is really simple. And I love a bit of texture as well. So like having some crunch with the sunflower seeds and the warmth of the sweet potato, a little bit of feta, the greens. Mm. So good. I really love this little dress that I'm wearing today. This is from ASOS. I like it because it's so nice and lightweight. Like the cotton is very breathable and very thin. So it's perfect for warmer weather. And also just the shape of it. It's not a maternity dress, but the shape is very bump friendly. It just feels so nice and comfy. I also love the back. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I am back from my walk and I'm gonna have this cold crisp apple straight from the fridge. It's so refreshing and I'm having it with some peanut butter on top. I love this snack. It's so simple but so good. Mm. Especially when the apple is cold as well, like straight from the fridge. On a hot day, mm. the best combination. This or banana with peanut butter. That's another one of my go-tos. I'm in the mood to do a little baking and I've actually been craving this berry crumble that I used to make quite a lot. Probably like a year ago or so, I do the same thing with apples. So it's the same recipe. You can change the base to whatever fruit you like. So today I'm using a mix of frozen berries and also some fresh strawberries 
over there. I just had a few left in my fridge that had to be eaten, so I'm putting them in this crumble. I'll make sure to have the exact recipe down below in the description box for you guys, but it's super simple. It literally takes like less than 10 minutes to put together and it's a really nice thing to have as a snack or as a dessert which is what i'm gonna do tonight so i'm gonna add a little maple syrup to the berries and a little bit of water as well and some cinnamon i'm just gonna mix all of that up and then this here is for the crumble so i've chopped up some nuts i've got almonds walnuts and pecans i'm gonna add one cup of oats half a cup of almond flour about a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little dash of salt. Just give it a little mix. And then lastly, one fourth of a cup of melted coconut oil. It's so hot that it's already melted. <laughs> and a fourth of a cup of maple syrup. Then I'm just going to pour the crumble on top of the berries. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. But we get up and start from the ground. And that's it. It's so simple and easy to make. This is going to bake now for about 40 to 45 minutes at around 180 degrees Celsius, which is like 350 Fahrenheit. And it's going to be so delicious with those berries. Yum. I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down Okay, so for dinner, one of my go-tos lately has been a fried rice with vegetables and shrimp. You can do this with frozen vegetables, so it makes it really quick and convenient. Okay, I've got some corn, peas, and carrots. This is some chopped green onion. I've got some tamari sauce here, some crushed garlic and grated ginger. And then here I've got my rice. So it's super simple to make, it's so delicious. Here is my dinner, my fried rice with veggies and shrimp. I just put some spinach on the bottom for some greens. And of course, for dessert, I'm gonna have this beautiful berry crumble, which smells so good. This would be amazing with some vanilla ice cream as well. I just don't have any. Okay, just had a bite. It is delicious. <laughs> and it's such a simple thing to make as well. Again, you can do it with apples or with any other fruit of your choice. So, so good. I'm gonna relax and enjoy this, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Hope that you found some good healthy food inspiration. As always, all of the recipes will be down below for you in the description box. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day. Thanks so much again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh,